Hi, and welcome back to the weekly challenge videos for Physics 102, Introduction to Electromagnetism, here at McGill. As always, I'm Matthew Heffernan, and I'll be going through the problem this week. So, one thing to note is that this week, the problem is actually of an intermediate level, which means that it's representative of and fair game for your final exam. So this is probably a pretty good question to be familiar with and know exactly how it works. So in this problem, what we have here is a apparatus which I'm going to describe. What we want to do with it is we wish to extract argon from the atmosphere. To do this, we singly ionize the air, accelerate it through a potential of 5 volts, pass it through a, voltage, uh, a velocity selector here, which will basically mean that only the argon is able to get through, um, and then it enters a mass spectrometer, which is the section up here. So when, when it enters the mass spectrometer, uh, which has a magnetic field here with a magnitude of 3 tesla, uh, it will curve. And what we want to find is the radius of curvature there. Uh, so some things we know is that the mass of argon, uh, for a single atom of argon, is 6.63 times 10 to minus 26 kilograms. It's singly ionized, so we know it has a charge of plus e. Uh, and we know that the potential it's accelerated through is 5 volts. Now, normally to find the radius of curvature here, we would do what we're more familiar with, which is taking the expression R is equal to mv over qb. We would put in the various variables we need, and we'd find the radius. But we don't know the initial velocity, or the velocity that it goes into. So we need to find that using kinetic energy. So we know it's accelerated through a potential of 5 volts, so that'll be what we need to do and to account for that. So what we know is that the kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared, which is equal to q, the charge, times delta v, which is the potential it's accelerated through. So rearranging this, we get v is equal to the square root of 2q delta v over m. Okay, but we can combine these two equations now, since this is our expression for v, and we can write r is equal to m square root 2q delta v over m over qb. Okay, we could plug in all the information we have now, but it's probably most convenient to simplify this expression a bit and make it look a little bit nicer. So the way we do that is we see there's an m here and there's an m here. So we'll cancel that and we put an m in the numerator. We see there's a q here and a q here. So we'll cancel those and put a root q in there. So what that will mean is our final expression is going to be r is equal to square root of 2m delta v over b square root of q. Okay, that's the simplest form we're going to find. We can plug in what we know now, and we can find what it is. So let's do that over here. We know that it's r is equal to square root of 2 times 6.63 times 10 to minus 26 kilograms times delta V. We know that's 5 volts. 5 volts over 3 tesla, because that's the B, the magnitude of B there. And the square root of Q, where Q is just E, so that's 1.602 times 10 to negative 19 coulombs. Okay, we put that into our calculator, and we find that this is equal to 0 0.00067.8 meters, which means we can go over here and replace this question mark with r being equal to when accounting for the number of zeros here, 0 0.68 millimeters. And there you go. Using the 
energy from the voltage the argon was accelerating through, assuming no initial voltage in that direction. It passed through the voltage selector and curved around, using only the mass, the charge, the magnetic field, and the potential that accelerated through, we were able to find the radius of curvature of that argon atom, that singly ionized argon atom inside a mass spectrometer.